Hello my crafty friends, my name is Linda Dolkey and I'm a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! in Australia and last week I showed these cute little stationery sets that, um, that open up and you have a little compendium inside and I had a couple of choices for personalising them. One was to pop a card in or an envelope with a card um, and then I also used one with a full size card. And I did have a couple of requests. I did say if anyone wanted to see me make it, um, that I would do a separate video for that. And a couple of people have requested it. So today I'm going to show you how I made this card. And it's actually a very simple card. You can make it really, really quickly. So let's go. For this one, we're using the Honey Bee uh, stamp set. Now this is a cling set um, and it has 10 stamps in it. It does have matching dies and currently with the cel celebration being on, this is uh, February 2020 and tw 2020, I'm still getting used to saying that, um, we also have matching paper which is called the Golden Honey Designer Series Paper. It's absolutely beautiful. And here it is. So it's 12 by 12 um, and you will find 12 sheets in the pack. It is called, as I said, Golden Honey Designer Series Paper and it is a specialty paper. Hopefully you can see the beautiful foiling that is on this. So it's black, white and gold foil. So it's very, very pretty. So one side has the foil details and the other side just has black and white. So both sides are really great. Um, the black and white's really great if you just want to color the paper. I love this honey, gold honeycomb design. And like, a, like you can see, there's two of each design. So there's six different ones, front and back, making a total of 12. And you can see how cute they are. Aren't they gorgeous? So we're using this one today, the stripy one. And there's also these little gold dots. I just, or dashes really more than dots. So that is what a pack of the Golden Honey Paper looks like. And if you go looking for it, it's in our celebration catalog. So it's over here on page, whoop, there it is, page 10. This is called Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series Paper. And this is free with a qualifying order during this celebration period. So in Australia that's $90. You spend $90 on absolutely anything from any catalogue. You qualify for a free thing and um, today I'm showing you this but there are loads of free free products. So how easy this card is to make. We're starting with a piece of just white. I use Whisper White Thick as my preferred card base and this is a piece of A4 cardstock cut in half. So when you cut a piece of A4 cardstock in half it ends up being 14.8 centimeters long by 21 centimeters wide which is the full width of the cardstock. If you're in the US I'll pop up the um, measurements for that as well. The half size piece is eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. And when you fold that in half, you're going to get, it's still going to be five and a half. It'll be four and a quarter wide by five and a half long once you've actually folded it in half. So what we're talking about is the card front. I'm just going to use a bone folder to flatten out my edges. That gives me a nice flat base to work on. And then I want to cut my designer series paper. So I've got one of my 12 by 12 sheets and I've already cut that in half to be six inches wide by the full 12 inches. And today I'm actually using our mini trimmer. Now this is a bit of a special thing. It's only available currently during celebration and only available to new demonstrators. So I'm going to pop this whole thing in. Now, I want to make this the width of my card front and remember I said here in Australia is 21 centimeters wide which means 10 and a half um, 10 and a half centimeters will be the width of my folded piece and that's what I'm looking for so you're going to be looking if you're in the US at a four and a quarter wide piece and I'm just going to make this put this at the 10 and a half centimeter mark and I'm gonna I just hold my finger here on this um, piece of plastic and that just holds your paper in half and then just trim it off. I love this little mini guillotine. It is so, so cute. 
All right. Now I also want to cut the vertical. Okay, now here's something interesting. What I'm trying to do here is I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to do it by eye. So you want to have it about an inch down from the top, maybe even an inch and a half, and then the same at the bottom. So when you put this in, I'm not even going to measure it, but I'm going to have this approximately, like I said, one and a half here and approximately one and a half here. So I'm going from the corner to the cutting edge and I just want both of those to be about the same and then trim okay now I have this piece here and I have this piece here so you'll notice that one piece is going to go one way well actually I'm looking at the back of my cardstock and I've got my diagonal going the opposite way you could have it going either direction okay and then this piece because it's the same because we cut it off the top it's going to be exactly the same on our next piece so this piece here is also going so you could do two out of the same piece you just need to make sure that you're using you've got about the same amount here as here and if it's not perfectly exactly the same it doesn't matter but I'm going as you can see I'm doing my diagonal on the opposite side today so it doesn't matter which way you cut it Obviously, I cut it the other way the first time. This time, I'm doing it the opposite direction. And I'm just going to bring in some snail, and I'm going to add that to the back of my paper. I find snail is the best adhesive for working with designer series paper because the lightweight of the paper and the lightweight of the snail adhesive works really, really well. Now, I'm just lining that up with the corners and that just goes over the whole thing there just like that now I've got here a piece of um, gold glimmer paper and I've measured that it also comes in 12 by 12 sheets and I've measured that to be six inches wide as well and six inches is a good work, um, size for when you're working with the mini trimmer because the mini trimmer I usually like to work from the opposite side the mini trimmer um, is just a little bit more than six inches long so six inches works really really well and that's whether you're working in centimeters or in inches I still do inches for this because the paper is 12 inches by 12 inches so it works all right and I'm going to use approximately just a bit more than half an inch or an inch cut it all the way down now I've actually got a wider piece than what I used last time I'm deciding whether that might actually be too wide I'm just going to trim it down a little bit and this little guillotine is great for cutting many many pieces of paper so I'm going to go I'll go an inch no I'm going to go three quarters of an inch or approximately uh, two centimeters there we go I'm going slowly you could go faster with this now that's much closer to this it's actually this one is slightly less all right so I'm actually going to put this whole thing across here all right just got to make sure that both um, both edges of the paper are off all right and then I'm going to run my snail along the back of that as well you can see how easy this is to do and I'm butting it up against our DSP piece okay then I'm going to turn the whole thing over and as you can see it comes off the edges here and with a pair of paper snips, I'm just going to make sure that my edges are neatly in line with my base cardstock. There we go, just like that. How easy is this? Really simple, okay. And then I'm going to do my B. Now, I've already cut a piece of black which is going to go straight onto here now you could um, if, if you're measuring this I've measured this to be seven centimeters by seven centimeters square um, but in inches that is approximately two and three quarter inches okay so approximately two and three quarter inches square for this piece and then I've also got a piece of whisper white Let's see 
I'm going to use my trimmer again for this. So if it was 7 by 7 then I want my Whisper White piece to be, actually I'm just going to trim off an edge because there's a, a yucky edge on that. So this time I would go six and a half by six and a half, so it's a little bit smaller. So if you've done the two and three quarter inches in the US, you'd now go two and a half inches for your um, for your white piece. So I'm going to go right here, and the lines down here make it really really easy to line this up. And the trimmer, the mini trimmer, is great if you wanted to um, have like a little portable trimmer that's much easier to carry around than a big trimmer. Um, I love it. Um, the only way to get it though is to join as a demonstrator before the end of March 2020 and it won't be made available any other way as far as I know. Um, All right, so I'm actually using my, I like to call this stamp the Queen Bee and it is from, it is from the beautiful Honey Bee stamp set. And I'm inking it up with Memento ink which is a great all-purpose black ink. And I'm just going to pop her there. I'm calling it a her. I don't know really if it is, of course, but I think it looks like a queen bee, and she's got some beautiful little lacy bits around her head there. So it definitely could be a girl. And I've also got a couple of... I've got Thinking of You, Sweet Friend, which fits really nice, or Hello, or Thank You. I'm going to have Celebrate Every Moment. I think that's a really nice stamp. Pop that on the block and also ink that up in memento I don't know if you can see but these bees are absolutely beautiful they're what we call distinctive stamps which means you get the dark and the light color coming through absolutely gorgeous put celebrate every moment underneath my bee there she is now of course we need to add just a little bit of colour. I'm using one of our blends markers. I'm using Mango Melody, but you could also use Crush Curry. I'm using the dark one, but the light one looks good too. Doesn't really matter. Any of these are great. And I'm just going to colour in those stripes. Give her a little bit of colour. And then I'm going to turn this over. And with a bit of snail again, I'm going to pop it straight onto my black piece so there's a little bit of a border all the way around. There we go, just like that. Now, I'm also using these. These are still available as we speak. Um, I'm not sure for how long because they're only available till sold out. These are the gold glitter dots, um, gold glitter enamel dots, and they are absolutely beautiful. What I've been doing is using them like as if they are drops of honey on my um, on my projects with this particular set I just think they complement the, the set so beautifully all right so I'm going to pop a couple of different sizes maybe one of these is a medium size one and maybe a small one there's actually I think four or five different sizes on here this is not the very smallest but it's still very cute and you could also add a little strip of gold glimmer if you wanted to that would look nice but we do already have glimmer on the card so we probably don't need to add more now you could just stick that straight on I like to use dimensionals because I think that looks classy to have a little bit of dimension under it and I don't know if you've seen these these are black dimensionals these were in our holiday catalog but yes they are still available they come in a combo pack and I like using black with darker colors or of course black itself and these they, the combo pack is uh, two sheets of the normal size dimensionals and two sheets of the mini dimensionals and they are ten dollars fifty I believe for a pack of two sheets of each so you're getting more than you would normally get in a pack of dimensionals, which is usually three sheets. In the black ones, you're going to get four sheets. And I'm just lining that up so it's in the middle. The best way to do this is to make sure that this edge here is parallel to the top, and that's going to give you a nice, neat look. And there we go. I have a card that's kind of a mirror of the other cards. So we've got one with the, uh, the diagonal going one way and one with it going the other way. And a minimum of measuring because I'm not a big measurer but 
I think they turned out really, really cute. So I hope you like those. I think they're wonderful. Um, and of course, if you were making a little compendium like I did, if you need to see how to make this, this is what I did last week. Um, and of course, you could pop that straight in there or you could pop it in an envelope and pop the envelope in there. Just glue dot your envelope in and then it just slides in and out. But that looks, I think it really completes the set. But it's a beautiful card in its own right. Have a great day, guys. Bye.